And in the water and on the internet. Tonight, a sawfish spotted in Treasure Coast waters is dead, unfortunately, and researchers are trying to find out what happened and why. News Channel 5's Carolyn Schofield joins us live along the St. Lucie River, where biologists hope this fish, even though dead, could be a good sign. Carolyn? Well, Michael and Kelly, sawfish have been an endangered species since 2003, and sightings of them are rare here on the Treasure Coast. Tomorrow, biologists will figure out what killed a 13-foot female found in these waters. They once thrived in the St. Lucie River, but small-toothed sawfish are now a rare sight. That's why this one, found dead in the water near Port St. Lucie today, attracted so much attention. Someone first spotted this sawfish last week and waded out to untangle thick wire wrapped around its face. Researchers think that wire led to the fish's death. It looks like it was entangled in a monofilament line. Uh, it's a very thick line, so it's not necessarily a fishing line, but it's discarded line, marine debris out there that got wrapped around its rostrum, around its saw prevented it from, from feeding. The sawfish is now at the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission lab in Tequesta. Biologist Bo Yeiser will perform a necropsy on it Saturday. One interesting thing will be to look at the ovaries. This is a female and we're going to see if there's any eggs and if they're how developed they are and there may even be pups depending on whether or not she's still holding on to one or two. This being a female of reproductive age is a big blow to the struggling sawfish population and it's the second female sawfish found dead in Treasure Coast waters in less than two months. This 14-footer was found wrapped in marine line at a Hobe Sound dock in April. But the two deaths could tell biologists a lot about the living sawfish in our waters. We would rather <laughs> not find them deceased, um, but sightings in the St. Lucie River and the St. Lucie area are very good and encouraging for their recovery long term. Now, if you see a sawfish in distress, call the Florida Fish and Wildlife Alert Hotline at 888-404-FWCC. And for everybody who uses these waters, biologists ask that you properly dispose of any fishing line or marine line or nets to make sure that something like a sawfish doesn't get snared. Reporting live at Stewart, Carolyn Schofield, WPTV News Channel 5.